Egypt recently entered the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest date farm in the world, while a government official revealed that the size of the farm will increase fivefold, which will bring great economic benefits to the country. The farm is built on an area of 132,000 square kilometers, and the farm includes more than 50 types of dates, as we imported their seedlings from Saudi Arabia, the Emirates, the United States, and other countries. Lieutenant General Engineer Kamil Al Wazir, Deputy Prime Minister for Industrial Development, Minister of Industry and Transport, held an extensive meeting with Henry Poppert, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the French company Alstom. The discussions began with a review of the implementation rates of the two monorail lines, Administrative Capital and West Nile, October 6th, and the stages of trial operation without passengers were reviewed. The two sides also discussed the current manufacturing rates for the project to manufacture and supply 55 trains for the first metro line. One of the Egyptian petroleum sector companies announced that it had completed the first exploration operations in the Beni Suef region during the past fiscal year, which helped the, to place the first well in the region with production rates of 230 barrels per day, as well as starting to drill four new development wells, which will help increase productivity. The East Saad al Amiq exploratory well is currently being drilled, and this will be followed by drilling a development well and another exploratory well in Fayoum region. The Engineering Industries Export Council, headed by Engineer Sharif al Sayyad, revealed that the sector's exports increased during the period from January to August 2024 by 27.3% to record $3.494 billion for the first time in history, compared to $2.746 billion during the same period in 2023. Sharif Sayyad said that the record numbers for the sector's exports reflect the enormous capabilities of the engineering industries in Egypt. A German company revealed on the sidelines of the Eno Trans 2024 exhibition, the electric freight train locomotives, that the company has finished manufacturing for the first line of the high-speed electric train network implemented by Egypt. The company has finished manufacturing two electric freight locomotives out of 14 electric freight train locomotives planned to operate on the first line of the high-speed train network. Egypt's exports of gold, jewelry and precious stones jumped during the first eight months of this year to record $1.727 billion, compared to $940 million in the corresponding period last year, an increase of 84%. The Egyptian state has succeeded in establishing 15 new pharmaceutical factories in the last three years. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli confirmed after his tour of a number of pharmaceutical factories in the 6th of October city that in the last three years, 15 new pharmaceutical factories have been established, bringing the total number of pharmaceutical factories in Egypt to 172, while 33 new cosmetics factories have been established in the last three years, bringing the total number of factories to 120 in addition to 116 factories for medical supplies and devices. Government sources said that the implementation rates of the marine cable works for the electrical connection project between Egypt and Saudi Arabia exceed 35%. The sources added that the process of installing the marine cable is proceeding well despite geopolitical tensions and there is a delegation from the Egyptian Electricity Transmission Company following up on the implementation work taking place in the project as well as following up on the rest of the project packages with the companies that are currently completing their work.
At the beginning of his visit to the October city area, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli announced that the pharmaceutical industry in Egypt is historic for more than 100 years, and in the last three years, 15 new pharmaceutical factories have been established, bringing the total number of pharmaceutical factories in Egypt to 172 factories. Madbouli continued, out of every 100 medicine boxes used in Egypt, 91 of them are produced in Egyptian factories, while the remaining number, which is only 9 boxes, is imported. This number includes medicines for advanced diseases such as tumors and a number of medicines for other diseases that the government seeks to localize their manufacture in the Egyptian market. The Prime Minister said that Egypt has a giant infrastructure in the pharmaceutical industry, whether through the state or the private sector, which leads this sector to a large extent. These capabilities enabled Egypt during the last fiscal year to export $1 billion worth of medicines. It is expected that our pharmaceutical exports during the current fiscal year will reach $1.5 billion with this number expected to jump within two years to $2 billion in exports from the pharmaceutical sector, reaching $3 billion before 2030. In a related context, the Pharmaceutical Division of the Federation of Chambers of Commerce intends to submit a letter to Deputy Prime Minister for Industrial Development, Kamil el -Wazir requesting the formation of a higher committee to undertake developing rapid solutions to the challenges facing the sector, starting with the importing pharmaceutical raw materials, manufacturing, distributing, and selling them in pharmacies, which has clearly reflected in the shortage of medicines in the country during the past months. The head of the pharmaceutical division said that the division is ready to submit a request to the Egyptian government to launch an initiative worth 50 billion pounds to finance pharmaceutical companies operating in the country at a low and easy interest rate to solve the crisis of the sector which suffers from liquidity bottlenecks finance. It is worth noting that the state has intensified its efforts to deepen and localize the pharmaceutical industry as part of an ambitious strategic plan that seeks to make Egypt a regional center in this industry, especially since this file is a national security and a top priority in light of the health changes resulting from the corona pandemic. The state has rushed to obtain the latest global manufacturing technologies and provide the necessary components for drug production, while exploiting promising opportunities to cooperate with distinguished international companies to achieve integration in the field of pharmaceutical industry and attract more investments, which contributes to reducing imports and meeting the needs of the local market based on national companies. In a related context, the drug city is considered one of the largest pharmaceutical cities in the Middle East and Africa, as it is built on an area of 180,000 square meters for the first and second phases, while the city's production capacity now ranges between 250 million and 300 million packages annually. The city produces 40 products while the total number of registered and under-registration products is 120, in addition to the target of exporting 15% to 20% of production abroad in stages. The city aims to enable the Egyptian citizen to obtain high-quality pharmaceutical treatment at reasonable prices, achieve drug security, and spare the patient mono Polistic practices in addition to establishing a regional center for the pharmaceutical industry that attracts international companies as well as opening export markets in the Africa and Middle East region.